Anugo, 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 go! Tafarel! Nah. <laughs> only, only real, only real football fans know <laughs> about that shit. Man, listen, man. This will be my official video defending the passport bros because this is hilarious. I recently came on some information. I, I, well, pause, pause. Oof. You are gay. You are transgender. <laughs> nah, nah, man. I, re I recently found some information that there are women not only making videos, but going to the places where black men or, you know, whatever men are going, you know, to find a wife or, you know, find it, find some ass, whatever. There are going to these places and now warning women about black men and all this stuff. This is insane. I first heard it on CGA and I was like, no, people are not going that far. Not only are they going to those places, well, not only are they making videos, uh, you know, warning the ladies about, they're they're going to these places, guys. This is this is this is crazy. This is literally a group of men, right? The, the you know the passport bros. These are a group of especially you know is really prevalent in the black community. These group of men are not gonna get a chance at all with women here in America. Like the like the especially the black women here in America are not going to give these guys a shot in hell. And now. They're saying, oh, you, these guys are whack and whatnot. And now. You're following these dudes. What the hell is wrong with these people? Bro? <laughs> Anytime you mention the passport bros around these people. They, they they turn into this. They 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 start turning to this. Why are you gay? <laughs> like they start they start saying this stuff first. You know first you know the MGTOW community. They always say, oh you know we're gay, we're we're incels, we're virgins, and all all this nonsense. Okay okay we got it we got it. Yep yeah, we're, we're we're all of these things. All right we're leaving. And they have they still have a problem with that. They're still dissing these men. I'm you're not I'm like, you're not even gonna give these men a chance at all. And you're following them to these countries? This is insane. This this has to I, I cannot believe this was real. I cannot believe this is a I'm gonna make a part two about this. And I'm gonna show you the stuff. This video is just basically me coming into defense of not only uh the passport bros you know i'll make a separate video about the MGTOW uh community um even though that's i'm pretty sure that's that's all intertwined with it but i'm gonna really come into come into the defense because you know at first when i heard about it it you know you know man leaving the country to go to like places like thailand colombia and what, whatnot and th that's not new to me because i like like i said uh, you know white men been have been doing that forever <laughs> They've been doing that since, you know, the beginning of time. So it, never, it was like, oh, you know, wow, I, I never, I, I, you know, I never knew a lot of niggas didn't have their passport. You know what I mean? I, I didn't, I didn't know that, you know. But you know, you know, you come across this, you know, the manosphere community, you know, this this kind of content, and you start, you know, finding out about this stuff. You're like, wow, I, you know. And on top of that, if you owe child support, you you can't be a passport, bro. <laughs> so you know, it's it's interesting. Like at first, I didn't really make much of it. Same thing with the MGTOW community. I didn't really, but now I'm looking at things <laughs> just like, like these, like, okay. So the passport bros, just to give some of you guys a background, um, a lot of this, a lot of this stuff has really gotten popular because a lot of black men are now finding their passports. And a lot of them are, you know, finding wives. You know, I still a little bit opposed to that, uh, <laughs> you know, most because, you know, over there. It is what it is, uh, you know, trying to find love or whatever, and they're being successful. They're they're finding women. They're they're finding 
everything they they're, they're needing and you know you know black men now are just like oh my this is you know because what happens is you go to the dominican republic and you go to those i'm 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 not gonna tell you what whether or not i'm experienced or not i'm just gonna tell you the truth what what it is they go to the dominican republic or these places and they find these girls and they're just drop dead gorgeous they're not fat they're fit and they're just they're just like they're just way prettier than the girls here in the states and then after that they come back here to america and i'm talking about like <laughs> they make it they make like over 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 in other countries they do not make it so difficult you know on these on on the american men so then they come back here to like a single mom of like three in America, <laughs> overweight, in debt, talking about I need a six figure man and, you know, <laughs> you know, just all types of nonsense. And they're just coming back to here, you know, disrespectful women over here too. They're just, and they're just like, what? Why, why am I even here? So a lot of them are moving out there and they are staying there. You know what I mean? So that's what's really what's happening with the whole passport, bro. So they're just finding like this is like the women overseas are way better. And I'm not I don't have to deal with the bullshit. They're like, I'm, I might as well just move over there, especially if you're a guy that's like struggling in the dating. And you're probably not looking for a wife. You're just looking for. You know, uh, 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 just to have just some at least some kind of girlfriend or something, some people that you can go to, so you can so you can get your <laughs> get your steam, your rocks off. They're going over there like what? This is this is th they're like this is great, and they're just they're and I think black men are bragging too much about this, and black there's you know black women right now in certain um you know um you know so like a, a great a good portion of black women are not happy about this. And the reason why they're not happy about this is not necessarily because they're having fun is because those guys are the backup plan. Those guys were, the, you know, those guys that are going overseas, you know, those guys were never going to get a chance. They were only going to get a chance once that woman becomes over 30 and <laughs> she's already over the hill. And then she's going to give those the good guys a chance. Now the good guys are leaving. Now they're in a predicament because a lot of them have a lot of student debt. A lot of them have kids already. A lot of them are single moms. Look at the statistics. Look at the statistics. Do not call me whatever. Just look at the statistics, especially in the black community. What you have 80 percent. A black woman have kids out of wedlock. But watch this. 54% of black men, 54 uh, is like around 54% of black men are single and childless. Another like 20% are married. So now what does that mean? It's a small percentage of black men <laughs> that women are messing with. And then they're saying that black men are deadbeats. Bruh. <laughs> that makes no sense. And now the stats are out, you know, I always, you know, I always grew up like they would always say black men are deadbeats. And I'm like, I, I don't see it. I used to like grow. I'm like, like most I'm, I'm, I'm saying like I have never met a deadbeat, but I, I I'm like, I've seen like I've seen criminals before and they're in jail. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of women. Not just black women. I see a lot of women now brag about messing with drug dealers and shit. And what you have in the black community is it's it's a small number of degenerates and street ninjas that are impregnating a large population of black women. Like if you look like Jordan, P I watched something. Jordan Peters said something about this. He said he put me onto a story. It's like three men in Memphis have 84 kids combined between three men, 46 different baby mothers between all of them. Now, I'm pretty sure all of those mothers are literally going to be like, oh, black men ain't shit. And we dead. And I'm like, you mess three men, three. 
and now now black men that weren't gonna even get a shot they're like okay so why are we staying here <laughs> like what what are we even here for and they're like no they're not they're you know those guys they're not taking that deal no more they're not trying to be a stepfather <laughs> you know so they're going overseas and now women are panicking women are panicking because they need help <laughs> like they they need help a lot of them need help i'm not gonna say most i'm gonna say a lot of them need help a lot of them need a man and i always say you know i like i like that's the one thing one of the things i did agree with kevin samuels is i I used to always say like why don't you just work things out with the baby father but most of the time the baby father that they was messing with no address unemployed you know all did all types of activities that's not within the constraints of the law they got tricked. They thought he was a player, but he found out he was broke. You know, it, it's a lot of things that come, you know, that come into that. So that is like my like, like I said, I did not know there were like, I'm going to make another video about this, but I had no idea that there were, you know, particularly black, a, 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 per, a portion of black women that are actually going overseas and are warning we, you know, women about us and whatnot, you know, this is weird. That is just weird because those particular guys, you weren't going to give them a chance anyways. So, so why are you following them? This is weird. This is weird. So that's why I, this is my, because, you know, uh, I don't, I don't have a philosophy that I just be like, I'm with this group. I'm, with, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'll say this. I support you guys. I'm sorry this is happening to you. I cannot believe when I, I'm, I'm going to show you the, the the evidence in my in my other video. This is weird. I did not know people were doing.